Welcome to the fast and easy world of quantum from Hobart. The quantum service scale and printer is a giant leap forward in service, making it a snap to weigh product, price it right, put on the correct label, and communicate with customers better than ever before. If you work at a service counter like deli or service meat and fish or in the bakery, you'll learn to use the quantum as you wait on customers, label prepackaged products, and print multiple labels. When you complete this training, you too will be able to use the quantum service scale and printer like a real pro. It may seem like a lot of buttons to push at first, but you're about to discover how easy this scale is to use. Start by exploring the quantum scale. Check it out from all sides and you'll be well on your way to becoming an expert. Just click the buttons to see the scale from all angles. Like turning on a radio, the quantum's power switch brings the scale to life. The operator display is where you'll see the flash keys, the weight and price of the item you're selling, and more. Adjust the screen angle and contrast for best viewing. You'll use these soft keys to make product selections. The keypad gives you number keys for entering product information, directional arrow keys for moving around the system, and three special function keys, all the controls you need right at your fingertips. The alphanumeric keypad is used by managers to program the quantum. The scale platter is where you'll place products to be weighed. Here are the computer connectors and the reset button. The reset button is used to reset the scale if you have any problems. On the customer display screen, your customer can also see the product, the weight, price per pound, and total price at a glance, along with helpful suggestions for related purchases to help you sell more. The label printer automatically produces stick-on labels with all the information needed by your customer and the cashier. Now let's find out how to use the quantum scale. You'll begin from the start a run screen. First, make sure the scale shows zero pounds with nothing on the platter. If the weight showing is not zero, press the re-zero button. Then, use the directional arrow keys to move through the screen's menu of tasks, like wait on a customer, prepackaged products, and print multiple labels. When the proper task is highlighted, simply press Enter to begin. On the job, if you push the wrong key, you can always use the Escape key to go back a step and start over. Let's give it a try. Here comes your first customer. So use your mouse and click the arrow keys to highlight wait on a customer. Then, click Enter. That's right. Good work. Select the repeat button to repeat the exercise or next to continue. Now you know how to select the right way mode for your quantum scale. Now you're ready to get down to business with your quantum service scale. You're about to discover how to use flash keys to identify a product, weigh it and print out a label. To enter product lookup numbers or PLUs if the item doesn't appear on a flash key screen, to temporarily override price and other information, to print labels for prepackaged items, and you will see how easy it is to use the help feature to get a helping hand when you need it. Let's start with flash keys. Using flash keys is one way you can access the product that your customer wants to purchase. Here's how. Once you've selected wait on a customer, your operator screen shows a menu of the items in your display case. These are called flash keys. We use the soft keys beneath and to the right of the screen to select the proper flash keys. Let's say a customer wants to buy a pound of potato salad and a pound of coleslaw for a picnic. Once you've filled the first container with potato salad, it's time to use your quantum scale to weigh and label the merchandise. First, we'll place the product on the center of the scale platter. Next, we'll use the soft keys to select the proper product by first pressing the column soft key, S2, and then the corresponding row soft key, F3. And potato salad is highlighted. Now we see the product screen. This screen shows all of the information about the product. The product number, description, 
unit price, tear or container weight, shelf life, net weight, and total price. At the same time, the customer's screen also shows the tear weight, product weight, price per pound, and total price for their purchase. Finally, we press the print button. And your potato salad label is printed out automatically. It's that easy. Now it's your turn. Let's get the customer that pound of coleslaw. Click the product button to place the coleslaw on your scale. Now use the soft keys to make your selection. On the job, you'll press the actual keys, but here, just use your mouse and click the column and row soft keys to select coleslaw. Great! Now both you and the customer can see what is being weighed and how much it will cost. Looks like you have a little more than a pound in the container, which ensures that the customer will have enough product and it's great for sales. Ask the customer if that's okay, then click print to print the label. And your coleslaw label prints out. Select next to continue. Good, you did it, but your job isn't done yet. You can serve all your customers even better by cross-selling, suggesting another product they may like to buy. Here's how it works. Suppose sliced turkey is on special this week. That would go well with the salads this customer is buying, wouldn't it? Let the customer know. Your ideas may help make the picnic a success. Say your customer decides on two pounds of turkey, as you recommended. Place the product on the scale. Just click the product button. Notice that this flash key screen only shows salads. Sliced turkey is located to your right in the deli case, so we move to the right on the flash key screens too. Use the right arrow or page right key to move to the right, the left arrow or page left key to move left. These keys allow you to get to most of the products in your case. To find sliced turkey, click the right arrow key twice to access the sliced meat flash key screen. Click the soft keys to select sliced turkey. Now you and your customer can see the new purchase. Just click print to get your label. Good job. Notice that after printing the label, the quantum returns to the original or home flash key screen, so you'll always know where you are. Select next to continue. Now you know how to use your quantum to weigh meats, cheeses, and containers of products, and how to find the correct item flash keys so you can label them for sale. You already know how to use the flash keys to select items, but what if there is no flash key for the item you want to weigh? No problem. Simply enter the PLU, or product lookup number, directly on your quantum number keypad. You may find PLU numbers on the back of the product tags, or in the price book. All you have to do is key in the PLU number and press enter and you automatically access the correct product screen. Try it now. You're selling seafood salad with a PLU number of 3214. Starting from the flash key screen, use your mouse and click 3 on the keypad to start entering that PLU. Look, when you start to enter a PLU number, a box automatically appears inviting you to enter product number. Now, complete the entry for seafood salad. And then click enter to access the product screen. Nice work. Select next to continue. Now you know how easy it is to use product lookup numbers to find any item in your quantum scale. With your quantum scale, most steps are automatic but there are times when you may need to temporarily override information programmed into the scale. For instance, a customer is buying halibut steaks. The price programmed into the scale is $4.99 a pound, 
which doesn't match today's sale price of $2.99 a pound. What will you do? You'll make a temporary price change in the quantum to match that sale price. Use the F3 soft key to select unit price. See the price field highlight? Use your numbered keypad to enter the correct price of $2.99 and click print to get your updated product label. Remember, whenever you override price or any other information in the quantum, it is only a temporary change for one transaction. After you print your label, the quantum reverts back to its original programming. Any permanent changes will be made by a manager, so let them know of any problems so they can make permanent corrections. Select Next to continue. Another override you'll be making at times is to the tear. The tear weight is the weight of the container. The tear weight of the most commonly used container is probably programmed into the scale. But if it's not, or your customer wants a smaller or larger container, temporarily override the tear weight with the F4 key and enter the proper tear. Ask your manager for a review of your department's tear weights and policies. Select Next to continue. Some items are sold by the piece, not by the pound. We call this by count. Corn dogs are sold individually. How would you help a customer who wants to purchase three? Give it a try. Select corn dogs using their PLU number 2084. Use the F4 soft key to select by count the number keys to change the 1 to a 3 and click print. Excellent. Select Next to continue. Now you know how to make temporary changes to price, tear, and how to sell items by count. Some items are available for sale in self-service cases, prepackaged and priced for customer convenience. Your quantum scale makes it quick and easy to label prepackaged products. From the Start a Run screen, use the arrow keys to select Prepackaged Products and click Enter. Now you're in the prepack mode of operation. Let's say you have several containers of potato salad to price and label. Use your keypad to enter potato salad's PLU number 3031 and click Enter. Prepackaged products may require freshness dating called shelf life. The shelf life of the product is probably programmed into the quantum. If it is not, or if it needs to be changed, simply use the F5 soft key to select and override shelf life. Ask your manager about your department's shelf life policies and procedures. Now you're ready to print out as many labels as needed. In the prepack mode, when you place the containers on the scale platter, your quantum will automatically print the labels. Click the product button to see how that works. When you're done printing the potato salad labels, you may want to label other prepackaged items like those sold individually or by count, like pizza, sandwiches, and bakery items. When you're in the prepack or print multiple labels mode, and you select a by count item like deli sandwiches or French bread, your quantum will ask how many labels you need. Simply enter the number of labels and click print. It's that easy to label prepackaged by count items. When you've finished all your labeling, press Escape to return to the Start a Run screen and select Wait on a Customer. Then, Quantum and you will both be ready for the next sale. Select Next to continue. Very good. Now you know how to use the Quantum to label prepackaged items by weight and by count and to print multiple labels. 
The quantum service scale is set up to be as simple to use as possible, and all the help you'll ever need is built right in. If a customer wants to buy a couple of T-bone steaks, but the correct flash key is not available and you don't know the PLU number, simply use the help key to access the on-screen library of products. Let's get some help to find T-bone steaks. First, with the flash key screen showing, we'll click the help menu button to the left of the operator screen. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the product category, in this case, beef. Then, use the right arrow to display all the items in that category. Again, use the up and down arrows to highlight the proper item from the list. Now click Enter to access the item's product screen. Pressing the Help menu button from the Start a Run screen will give you additional information about how to use the Quantum. When you're at the scale, check it out or check the printed manual. Select Next to continue. All right, with the help of this on-screen library, now you're ready to use the Quantum while you wait on customers with confidence. Labels are easy to load into the Quantum Service Scale and Printer. Let's take a look. To change labels, first remove the label cassette. Push the eject button and slide the cassette out. Get rid of the empty label roll by lifting the take-up key this L-shaped metal piece, and removing the old roll's backing paper and any leftover labels. Discard the old label roll and backing paper. Now, take the new label roll and discard about 10 inches of labels to make a leader. Place the roll on the hub in the label cassette, threading the leader between the peel bar and the cassette housing. Now, wrap the leader around the take-up spool. Slide the take-up key onto the spool making sure it's on the outside of the leader. Then, turn the spool counterclockwise to take up any slack. Finally, replace the label cassette in your Quantum, and you're back in business. Ask your manager to show you just how easy it is to change labels on your department's Quantum. So now you know how fast and easy it will be to use your Quantum scale when you get on the job. You'll weigh merchandise, price products, label packages, and communicate with customers to give them the best service possible. Remember, help is always available if you need it. Just check your Quantum Operator screen or look in the printed manual. Whether you work at a service counter or in the bakery, let the Hobart Quantum be your partner in providing excellent customer service.